Hi, welcome to our uh, Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the 21st series of uh, Principles of uh, Drug Discovery. Let us see in this video what are protein motifs. So, protein motifs. Uh, a protein motif refers to short and conserved sequence or structural pattern found in a protein that is often associated with specific functions or interactions. Motifs can occur at various levels of protein structure, including uh, primary secondary uh, that is alpha helices beta sheets tertiary 3d fold and quaternary structures that is protein protein complex structures this uh, uh, the motifs play an essential role in protein function regulation and interactions in short motifs are super secondary structures classic classification of motifs one is uh, sequence motifs Sequence motifs are uh, short uh, stretches of amino acids in the primary structure of a protein that have a specific pattern or sequence. The motifs can be involved in various functions such as uh, enzyme active sites, substrate binding, protein-protein interactions or post-translational modifications. Examples of the sequence motifs include uh, ATP binding motif in kinases, uh, the N-glycosylation motif, and SH3 binding motif. Let us see the ATP binding motif first. The ATP binding motif is a conserved sequence of motif found in uh, proteins that interact with and bind to adenosine triphosphate. ATP is a molecule that serves as uh, the primary energy currency in the cells, providing the necessary energy for various cellular processes. Proteins that bind ATP often play a crit uh, critical role in the energy transfer, signal transduction and enzymatic reactions. The motif contains uh, conserved amino acid residues that are crucial for coordinating and stabilizing the binding of ATP. One of the most well-known ATP binding motifs is P-loop or Walker A motif. Let us see what is uh, ATP P, uh, binding motif P loop. The P loop motif is named after the conserved proline residue and forms a loop structure in the protein. It has consensus uh, sequence that is uh, G, G, K, T, S, that is where X represents any amino acid. After G, any amino acid can come and there will be T and S, uh, either threonine or serine. The P-loop motif is found in various proteins including GTPases, ATPases, helicases. Uh, these are uh, the proteins which use ATP binding and hydrolysis to carry out uh, specific functions such as phosphorylation of the substrates, cellular signaling and DNA, RNA unwinding during replication and transcription. Let us say Walker A motif. This is also a P-loop motif as highly conserved sequence motif found in wide range of proteins that interact with the ATP molecules and GTP molecules. Proteins containing Walker A motif are found in various cellular processes such as protein kinases, phosphorylation of substances which use ATP, ATPases. They hydrolyze the ATP to perform mechanical work of transport functions, GTPases which regulates the cellular signaling and helicases which unwind the nucleic acids during uh, replication and transcription. Uh, next is uh, N-glycosylation uh, motif which is also a sequence motif. The N-glycosylation motif, it is also known as N-glycosylation sequence, is a specific amino acid sequence that signals for addition of carbohydrate that is glycan moiety to the amide nitrogen atom of asparagine residue in a protein. N-glycosylation is a common post-translational modification that plays uh, essential roles in protein folding, stability, cellular localization and interactions with other molecules. The N-glycosylation motifs have the following consensus sequence, asparagine uh, followed by X that is any amino acid followed by serine and threonine. This regulation of N-glycosylation can lead to variety of disorders such as uh, congenital disorders of glycation, glycosylation and some cancers.
Next is uh, SH3 motif. The SH3 binding motif also known as proline rich motif. It is a short amino acid sequence that is recognized and bound by SRC homology domain of certain proteins. The SH3 domain is a conserved protein domain uh, found in variety of proteins uh, for signaling proteins. Uh, it mediates protein-protein interactions. Uh, they regulate the cell proliferation, <coughs> differentiation and migration by interacting with the proline-rich motifs in various target proteins. Next is uh, structural motifs. Structural motifs are patterns or arrangements of secondary structural elements such as alpha helices, beta strands and forms uh, recurring and recognizable motifs in the protein 3D structure. These motifs are often involved in protein stability, ligand binding or protein-protein interactions. Examples of uh, structural motifs include helix turn helix motif and DNA binding proteins. Uh, the beta harpin motif and the zinc finger motif which contains uh, a coordination site for the zinc ion let us see helix turn helix motif the helix turn helix motif is a common uh, structural motif found in the dna binding proteins it's a fundamental uh, element of transcription factors and other uh, regulatory proteins involved in gene expression and dna interaction the HTH motif uh, is uh, widespread in uh, biological world and plays a crucial role in cellular processes including gene regulation, DNA repair and DNA protein interactions. Understanding the helix turn helix uh, motif structure and functions has a significant implication for understanding uh, the molecular mechanisms and uh, it is useful in developing therapeutic interventions targeted at <coughs> DNA binding proteins next is beta hairpin motif the beta hairpin motif is a common structural element found in proteins particularly in the beta sheets beta sheets are uh, secondary structure proteins where beta strands or beta sheets are arranged side by side forming extended flat structures the beta hairpin motif is a short specific arrangement of two adjacent strands connected by a short loop the name hairpin comes from its uh, resemblance to hairpin or bobby pin where the two strands form the two prongs of the pin and loop represents the hinge or the pivot pin. Next is zinc finger motif. The zinc finger motif is a common and versatile DNA binding structural domain found in many proteins. It is one of the most well studied DNA binding motifs and is involved in various biological processes including gene regulation, DNA repair and transcriptional activation. Researchers have exploited uh, the DNA binding uh, specificity of uh, zinc finger motifs for gene editing purposes leading to the development of uh, engineered zinc finger nucleases, transcription activator effector nucleases, talons and more recently CRISPR Cas9 system. These technologies enable uh, precise manipulation of uh, genome for uh, gene therapy, functional genomics and other applications. Why we should understand the protein motifs? Uh, these are essential in understanding the protein structure and function. They provide insights into the roles of specific regions in proteins and often serve as key determinants of proteins biological activity. Motifs can be identified using bioinformatic tools and databases and their presence in proteins can provide valuable information for predicting the protein function, studying protein-protein interactions and designing experiments to investigate the protein behavior. Motifs are also significant in the evolutionary studies as conserved motifs in proteins across different species suggest functional importance and evolutionary conservation. Studying the protein uh, motifs has contributed to the understanding of uh, protein structure function relationships and has enabled the discovery of new therapeutic targets and development of novel drugs and treatments. So it's a very short information of protein motifs. I hope uh, it will be useful for you. Uh, thank you for listening. Happy learning. Kindly share this to more of your friends. Kindly subscribe to our Pharma Topics channel. If you like this uh, video, kindly press the like button go through all the series and score well in your principles of drug discovery exams thank you